गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी शैल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक आइसोमेरिज्म आइसोमेरिज्म कम फ्रॉम टू वर्ड्स आइशो एंड मार आइशो मींस सेम आइशो मींस सेम एंड मार मींस यूनिट दैट मींस सेम यूनिट द ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड मस्ट हैव द सेम यूनिट ए सिंगल मॉलिक्यूलर फार्मूला ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड कैन रिप्रेजेंट number of structures of the organic compounds those structures of the organic compound are called isomers and the property by which they show such isomers is called isomerism isomerism broadly classified into two types that is stereoisomerism and structural isomerism what is structural isomerism structural isomerism is that in which the organic compound have सेम मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला बट डिफरेंट बॉन्डिंग कनेक्टिविटी द बॉन्डिंग कनेक्टिविटी डिफरेंट एंड हेंस डिफरेंट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज दिस स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमरिज्म इज क्लासिफाइड इनटू फाइव टाइप्स दिस चेन आइसोमरिज्म पोजिशनल आइसोमरिज्म फंक्शनल ग्रुप आइसोमरिज्म मेटामरिज्म एंड रिंग चेन आइसोमरिज्म ऑन द अदर हैंड स्टीरियो आइसोमरिज्म इज डिफाइंड एज द ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड हैव द सेम मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला same bonding connectivity but different orientation of ligands in space different orientation of ligands in space this stereoisomerism is classified into geometrical isomerism optical isomerism and conformational isomerism geometrical isomerism means you know that cis and trans optical isomerism is like a dextrotary laboratory on the other hand conformational isomers is found in alkanes when carbon carbon rotation around its bond axis takes place this part stereoisomerism part we will not discuss here we will focus on the structural isomerism this part these five parts so let's start with chain isomerism chain isomerism what is chain isomerism when the organic compound have the same molecular formula belong to the same homologous series but differs in carbon chain that may be linear that means that means straight or sometimes may be branched let us take an example like c4h10 this is a hydrocarbon alkene belongs to alkene family we can write this like CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. We can write this all like this way: CH3, CH, CH3, CH3. If we write little easier way, that is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. This and write this as. CH three, CH, CH three, CH three. This is belongs to the open chain, while this is branched. So chain is different. So chain isomerism is found. Next, positional isomerism. What is positional isomerism? This, in this isomerism. the organic compound has same molecular formula same functional group but the position of that functional group will be different in the carbon chain let us take an example like ch3 ch2 ch2 oh and ch3 ch oh ch3 this is C three H three five seven eight H eight O. This is also one two three C three H three six seven eight. That means they have same molecular formula, same functional group, but the position of the functional group is here in one carbon. But here, second carbon. So this is the positional isomerism. 
You can take, take lots of example and practice in home. Now, functional group isomerism. In this isomerism, what happens? The organic compound having same molecular formula but different functional group is present and hence different chemical properties. Let us take an example C2H6O. We can write this as CH3O CH3. We can write it and like this way CH3 CH2 OH. This is ethyl functional group and this is alcoholic functional group ethyl. This is alcohol. So functional group is different, but molecular formula is same. So this is the functional group isomerism. Your homework for this for the compound C3H8O. This is your homework. Next. Metamorphism. Very important. Metamorphism is the organic compound have same functional group, same molecular formula, but the number of carbon atom in either side of the functional group will be different. Let us take an example. Let us take an example of this compound CH3, CH2, O, CH2, CH3. That is C4, H3, 5, H10, O. This can be written as CH3, O, CH2, CH2, CH3 and CH3, O, CH, CH3, CH3. So look, look the compound carefully that here either side of the functional group number of carbon atom is 2 but here 1 in this case 3. 2, 2, 1, 3. Similarly here is 1 and here is also 3 but in different arrangement. So this is the metamorphism. And another part is the ring chain isomerism. Very easy. Ring chain isomerism is that in which let us take an example first. C three H six. This is an alkene. General molecular formula C N H two N where N equal to three. So if we write the alkene as can write the alkene as CH3 CH double bond CH2. We can write this compound as like this also. This is propane and this is cyclopropane. This is propane. This is cyclopropane. That means in ring chain tautomerism, compounds having same molecular formula but in one structure is chain structure belongs to the chain but in another structure they belongs to the ring. This is cyclopropane ring. So your homework is for C4H8. Solve this and show me. So this is for today. Thank you today and we will come with another interesting topic in the upcoming classes. Thank you. Have a nice day.